there's currently 187 countries, but there's about to be 185. Hello everyone, Neelan here, and it's time for episode 3. I forgot to remove frames from the wheel last time. Anyways, our first country attacking... ...is Malaysia. They'd be in for a world of hurt if they attacked Singapore. <laughs> but they probably are going to anyways. Any, but let we still have to see which way they're going. I would say if they were coming from here, that would definitely be attacking Brunei. So it's time to see who wins. Will the M underdogs win again? Well, something about Southeast Asia is having underdogs win. I mean, Singapore beat Indonesia. So, there, so I don't see why Brunei can't beat Malaysia. And the winner is <laughs> Brunei. Congratulations, Malaysia. You've just have been embarrassed. I'm just pulling up the flag. I'm just going to start off by coloring the whole thing yellow. Because I think that's the best place to start. Always the most annoying part is coloring everything in, but it's a crucial part. Sometimes this is a bit harder. I'm pretty sure emojis aren't copyrighted. <laughs> if someone copyrighted an emoji, then... Uh, whatever. <laughs> Malaysia is out. Boop. And the next country is happening. Is Uzbekistan. So we're going to Central Asia for the second time. Let's see, will they attack Kyrgyzstan? Doing that would be a bad idea, but they could get a lot of land from it. And they decide to take it safer and it just go for Turkmenistan.
fun fact, Turkmenistan is not a very free country, and it is less free than North Korea. At least, I've heard that. Come on, Uzbekistan, you got this. And Turkmenistan is taking 12th last place. How does that feel, Turkmenistan? Is it just me, or would it be better for the world if the Soviet Union didn't... If uh, <laughs> Turkmenistan didn't exist? The borders in Central Asia are already looking a lot better. <laughs> I like how in two different spots there are level two countries bordering each other. And uh, both of those only happened just now. There's close to being a third one between Greece and Iran, but they do not border yet. Anyways, the next country attacking. Is Bulgaria, which just happens to be next to a level two country. Will this be the first time that a level 2 country fights? Or will they just play it safe? And they are attacking Greece. Which has the advantage. Because they have already taken over Israel. But it still could be an upset victory. Nope. Nope. And Greece is now the first level three country in this. Congratulations, Greece, on winning two to wars. Anyways. Our third aggressor, I mean our fourth, Taiwan is fighting. I have a feeling I know which one they're going to attack. Actually, I feel like there's two that realistically they could attack. Japan to get revenge for them taking them over the whole Japanese empire. Or China for pretty obvious reasons. But who knows, they could attack the Philippines. And they are going all the way to Vietnam. Neither of them have an advantage here, but this will be interesting. In the real world, I see Vietnam being the aggressor here, but the winner... is Taiwan. I do not recognize Taiwan as a country, but more people recognize it as a country than the Western Sahara. I have no clue why. I recognize the Western Sahara.
I'm pretty sure they're doing this so they have an advantage against China when they eventually attack them. The line just shows that it's part of the same country. But Okay. Time for our last battle of this episode. And the aggressor is Nigeria. Wait a minute. I'm just going to fix this real quick. Okay, perfect. It's time to see who Nigeria attacks. Could be anyone. It could be Sao Tome and Principe. I would like that. I know that in an earlier episode I said it, that when it, small island countries are eliminated, I'll just have them sink below the ocean. But, I would need to have them stay so we could tell, like, that they have better power. And it appears that they would be attacking the country of Niger. Which is named, which fun fact is named after the Niger River. It's just too perfect for these two to be find, fighting. They have basically the same name. Uh. And Nigeria wins. I can't help but have a feeling this would make them a bigger target. Would this make them the biggest country in Africa? That's the real question. The fact that before South Sudan got independent, Sudan was the largest one. I'm saying no. (laughs) Because, you know, it is smaller than Sudan. I'll see you guys next up.